Good afternoon and welcome to lecture number five of Methodronics. We are going to see today unit number five. So as you know, my name is Sachin Thurkar. I'm assistant professor in mechanical engineering department, Navasajyatri. This unit number five consists of modeling and analysis of mechatronic systems. In this lecture number 19, we are going to see introduction to system modeling, different types of forms of systems, mechanical system building blocks and modeling of mechanical system. We are seen in uh, unit number two that uh, we have drawn some block diagrams. So what that block diagram represent that we are going to see here. A system modeling, what is system modeling? Models are mathematical representation of system. For example, weather forecast for forecasting. If I want to focus weather, I need some model which will represent that a particular phenomenon mathematically. Dynamic models allow the dynamics to be simulated and analyzed without having to build the system. Okay. We are not going to build the system. We are going to use dynamic uh, mathematics in that. Models are never exact, but they can be predictive. We are, uh, we are not going to be uh, making anything exact. We are going to be predictive. To analyze and understand the behavior of system, mathematical models are used. Mathematical model describe the relationship between input and output of the system. Each system consists of number of subsystems called as building blocks. The overall performance of system can be predicted by combining the behavior of these building blocks. When such system is built, it's called as a lump parameter system. Again, I'll repeat, we are going to develop some subsystems, building blocks, and we are going to combine the behavior of all these building blocks and then we are going to predict the output. So these systems are called as lumped parameter systems. Basic forms of systems. One that is mechanical system we are interested in. Electrical systems, thermal systems and fluid systems. We are going to see one by one all the systems in our next lectures. Now in this lecture we are going to see how to um, form the mathematical model of mechanical systems. So firstly, the first step will be define building blocks of system. Second step to draw free body diagram of building block and define basic relationship among the parameters. Third, by combining all the building blocks of system, apply the basics law and define the relationship among the building blocks. Next, let's develop characteristic equation of system in terms of input and output parameters. So this will be your fourth step. And the above characteristic equation is called as mathematical model of system. So we are going to form these mathematical models for different kind of systems. Now for that, we need to know what will be the building blocks of this mechanical systems. So normally we represent it by spring mass and dashboard or damper we can say. So what is spring? Spring represents the stiffness of the system. Dashboard are the forces opposing the motion, that is friction or damping. And masses, masses represent the inertia, or we can call it as resistance to acceleration. We'll see one by one in the next three slides how it, it is related with the change in displacement. So, first thing, spring. Now, if you'll see the stiffness equation is force is equal to this K spring stiffness constant multiplied by the displacement. So force is directly proportional to the displacement. So this will be one building block of your system, which is called as a spring of that system. The object applying the force to stretch the spring is also acted on by force. 
this is Newton's third law. This force will be in opposite direction and equal in the size to the force used to stretch spring. So if I'll draw free body diagram this of this spring, then input force and output x will be having a relation of f is equal to kx or f is directly proportional to x. So force we can calculate with the help of output the displacement. Similarly, for dashboard, you will see f is equal to c into dx by dt. So we are taking first derivative of displacement and dx by dt we know it is velocity. So it will be directly proportional to velocity. C is a step uh, this uh, dashpot constant, which, which is also called as a damping constant. It is a type of force when we push an object through a fluid or move an object against friction forces. Thus the relation between the displacement X of the piston that is output and the force as input is a relation depending on the rate of change of the output. Here it will be uh, first derivative of displacement. In case of mass, you, you know the Newton's second law, force is directly proportional to mass and acceleration. Acceleration we can write here as a second derivative of x with respect to time. So it is m d square x by dt square or we can write here m dv dt dv divided by dt. So force is directly proportional to the second derivative of displacement. So these three building blocks will be helpful in making any mathematical model. We'll see the equation step by step. A spring mass damper system as shown in figure, the system is fixed at one end and the mass is supported by the spring and damper. The mass is excited by a force F and free to oscillate. The equation of motion related to horizontal motion X of mass to applied force can be developed with the help of free body diagram. So this free body diagram represent this is force and the displacement is in this direction. We know that spring force will be in opposite direction of displacement. Damping force will be in the opposite direction of displacement mass will be in the same direction of displacement. So the equation will be like this. It will be equal to F minus Kx minus B into V. K and B are the constants. Okay. So if we'll apply these forces and apply the Newton's second law of motion, you will get M D square X by DT square will be equal to force minus Kx minus b into dx by dt and this equation is called as differential equation that describes the relation between input and output this equation is very important in your final year also for a vibration concept and for mathematical modeling of this uh, mechatronic subject is also important now uh, we'll see how the rotary system can be developed this procedure is very similar only we are going to see here torque instead of force and this shaft will be acting as a spring and damping coefficient. So you can see a free body diagram with spring and damper and the equation is similar to the previous one that is force is equal to mass into acceleration plus k into x plus b into velocity. So it here it will be k theta c d theta by dt and i multiplied by d square by dt square must be equal to the torque applied on that particular body. So this is, this is your equation of a rotational system. Basic blocks we'll see here torsion, torsion spring is there. The torsion spring will represent here torque is equal to k into theta and damper T is equal to C into D theta by DT or C into omega, that is angular velocity. The moment of inertia will be represented by just uh, instead of mass, we'll take here moment of inertia, D square theta by DT square. 
these equations we have taken from PLSA Education Systems Limited, that's uh, Bolton's book, Mechatronics book, so that you can refer uh, when while studying. This rotational system, again, the same things have been written here. So it is spring k into theta, dashboard c into d theta by dt, and torque rotational mass i d square t, uh, theta divided by dt square. So this is the same thing has been explained here. And this is free body diagram and how it has been derived has been given here. So the total differential equation will be like this, i into d square theta by dt square plus k theta plus c into d theta by dt equal to the total torque applied on that particular body. So these two equations, the equations of spring mass damper system and rotational system are important from the point of view of mechanical, mathematical modeling of mechanical systems. These are, this is the summary of mechanical building blocks. For spring, you can see here, force is equal to K into X. Energy stored in that particular is E is equal to one by two F square by K. It is, uh, you can say modification of MV square. Dashboard C into DX by DT. Mass F is equal to M into D square X by DT square. For rotational systems, T is equal to K into theta, rotational damper, C into, sorry, D theta by DT, and moment of inertia, I into D square theta by DT square. So these are the, uh, this is the end of your first lecture of this chapter. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, I'm sharing my mechatronics blog also with you. So you will get all the type of notes and uh, study material in that particular blog. We'll meet again in next lecture. Till then, Sachin Dorkar is signing out. Thank you very much for listening this lecture.